One very last step I want to show you in the new web portal. According to our new password features we implemented in version 8, you might remember or have seen that in previous videos. I'm here as a manager signed in and I'm responsible for just two employees. These are my direct reports. You can see them here. And one of them is not able to sign in to his uh, front ends anymore. And so I will generate as manager a passcode for that person. And as a manager, I have first to jump to my team member. So I'm just jumping in. Here we are. And there is a new functionality that says passcode. And if I hit here on passcode, then the system starts to generate a passcode. You can see that here. And this passcode is now what I can send to my employee. And as you can see, the whole passcode is valid for just three hours and can be used to sign in, for example, into the password web to reset the password so that that person then will be able to sign in with a new password. There is one thing left we should talk about uh, if we talk about the new standard web portal or all of these new web portals in the One Identity Manager. And this is how these portals can be used with other devices than your computer. Honestly, in the past, it was a little bit hard uh, to use other devices, especially because it was a lot of zooming in and zooming out if you want to do something with that. The web portal itself was not developed in a way that it was supporting devices, probably like tablets or phones. Um, this is now the difference uh, in version 8 of the Identity Manager. First time our developers decided completely to implement a responsive design for all the people who are not developing web pages. Responsive design means that you can use the same portal just with any device. And depending on the screen size of your device, you will see something different. As you easily can see just here on the screen, I was using my three devices I have at home. So please, uh, this is not to do some advertising for other companies. This is just uh, a way to show you that on my three different devices, the web portal can be used. The same, by the way, happens for the password web. We saw that in a previous video. And I think with that, we answer as well the question, if we need an app, Yes, of course, that is another discussion going on. Um, as long as you are able to connect to your standard web portal or to any web portal you expose somewhere it can be accessed, then you should now be able to use any device. Honestly, I prefer a little bit a bigger screen if I do something complex. So from my perspective, if I only want to approve something, my cell phone will help me. But if I just like, for example, to do some compliance and rule checks or something like that, as in more administrative tasks, then I will prefer at least to use my tablet. And honestly, because I'm a little bit older, I'm more the person who prefer a super nice green comes with 27 Zoll or whatever that allows me with my old eyes to see everything properly. Nevertheless, the new design now supports as well mobile devices and I'm happy that I can use it now. Last but not least, let's talk a little bit about that new web portal. As you can see, even for me, where, who I just used that web portal the first time, and of course, uh, I'm a person who knows the old web portals. It was easy to handle all of these requests I started to record here into my video. What I like to say is from my personal perspective, this looks much more clean than in the past. All stuff, it's process oriented. It is uh, nearly self-describing. Yes, of course, there's too many functionality implemented so that everything is super easy. But at the end, if you know what the identity manager can do and if you know all the old web fronts, it should be very easy to jump from one of the old to this new web portal. Don't forget, and this is for the customers watching us, um, if somebody wants to upgrade his system from one to the other, this will not automatically upgrade all these custom web portals outside. Yeah, remember, we have a lot of customers with their own web portals and a new standard web portal not automatically grades up all these existing web portals out there. So don't wonder if your web portal looks after a migration more or less like the same than before. But nevertheless, this is the new standard web portal. And of course, like before, this standard web portal can as well be used to generate brilliantly looking and very nice new web portals, maybe looking like that, what I was showing here.